Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I rise uh, on this particular occasion to thank my family, my friends, my colleagues, uh, and the voters of the 6th Congressional District of Massachusetts for giving me the unbelievably wonderful opportunity uh, to represent that district here in this venerable body, the House of Representatives. I've been privileged to witness history uh, and to participate in its making. My focus has always been on social justice and opportunity for all. And I know that we have worked assiduously to try to make that happen every day that I've served here. I'm also appreciative of the fantastic staff uh, that have worked with me over the years, who have done so much to make sure that the work we did reflected those values uh, and make sure that every day we spend trying to make sure the constituents of the 6th District were well served. Uh, I also want to say that the delegation from Massachusetts deserves particular recognition on that. I'm always appreciative of their support and having served with the unbelievable legend Edward M. Kennedy, Kennedy as our s senator for years was a particular privilege. Uh, Madam Speaker, from making college more affordable and accessible to making sure that people had an opportunity in the workforce to get the skills they needed uh, to perform and have a job that paid them well enough to support their family, uh, to make sure that we had oversight in foreign affairs and make sure that when people are contracting on contingent operations that they have to make sure they take care to not have waste, fraud and abuse in the work that is done. From watching the taxpayers' dollars to making sure that people in this country got a fair shake, and that somebody stood up not just for the banks, not just for the large corporations, but for every single family in this country and making sure that their government worked for them. I've been proud, I've been honored, I've been privileged. And I thank again my constituents, my family, my friends, and all of my colleagues here in the House. And with that, I yield back.